Touching you begins by showing a man named Do Jin Wu, who has supernatural powers, where he can know a person's future, just by touching their skin. That day, Jin Wu, who was walking in the city center, accidentally met a beautiful woman named Jin Hee Young, when she was doing fittings in a clothing store. Jin Wu looks mesmerized by Hee Young's beauty, but he has to rush out of there to do his job. He gets a job that matches his supernatural talent, which is being a fortune teller at a cafe. Arriving at work, Jin Wu had already found a customer he wanted to fortune telling. At the same time, He Young enters the cafe with her friend, a woman named Mi Suk. Knowing that He Young's arrival there is for fortune telling, a man named Young Dal, who is the cafe owner, then asks Jin Wu to predict He Young's future, because it turns out that he has a big crush on her. Jin Wu then approached He Young and her friend and sat opposite He Young. He Young wants to find out about her future with her boyfriend because she wants to marry the man of her choice. However, her boyfriend seems too busy with work, so he probably won't be proposing to her anytime soon. Jin Wu, who seems to understand He Young's concern, then asks her to extend her hand so he can touch her and see her future. However, after touching He Young's hand, Jin Wu sees a terrible flash of her future, where she will die soon. Jin Wu sees the future image of He Young, lying lifeless on a ladder and wearing high heels. Even though the glimpse of the future is terrifying, Jin Wu still reveals it to He Young and advises her to always be vigilant and careful. However, He Young and Mi Suk don't believe Jin Wu's words at all and call him a fake fortune teller. After He Young and her friend leave, Jin Wu then tells Young Dal about He Young's future and how shocked Young Dal is when he finds out that the woman of his heart may die soon. The next day, Jin Wu is seen at a cosmetic shop applying for a job as a shopkeeper. Jin Wu, who was undercover, turned out to be applying for a job at the cosmetic shop because He Young worked there. Jin Wu is forced to comply with Young Dal's request to keep an eye on He Young and prevent what he saw in her future picture from happening. Because of his pleasant personality, Jin Wu was accepted to work at the shop. In addition to keeping an eye on He Young, Jin Wu also has to make sure whether the picture of He Young's future can change or not. Therefore, Jin Wu tries to find an opportunity to get in touch with He Young. He finally gets his chance when his boss asks him to accompany He Young to check some cosmetic products in the warehouse. But apparently, his efforts were in vain, because they both had to wear gloves at that time. After work, Jin Wu and He Young have a short chat before He Young finally has to leave because her boyfriend has come to pick her up. From a distance, Jin Wu sees He Young coming home with her boyfriend in the man's car. After that, Jin Wu goes to Young Dal and tells him that he hasn't managed to get in touch with He Young, so he can't be sure of her future. One day, Jin Wu was forced to accept his boss's invitation to celebrate the welcome of new employees by partying at a karaoke place. At first Jin Wu refused because he didn't really like the party atmosphere. But because his boss kept urging him, he complied with her wishes. However, Jin Wu soon became bored and decided to leave the room for some fresh air. He Young, who also seems bored, follows Jin Wu, where they then head to a nearby park. While playing on the swing together, Jin Wu seems attracted to He Young, who has a warm and cheerful personality. He feels comfortable around her. However, he immediately realizes he is not there to fall for her, but to protect her. The next day while at work, He Young whimpers in pain from the high heels she's wearing. Jin Wu saw this, then took her to a shoe store and bought a pair of sneakers for her. As they head back to work, He Young's boyfriend, Yoon So, suddenly comes to pick up He Young, so she immediately leaves with him. After He Young left, Mi Suk then approached Jin Wu who was alone and told him that he actually had a crush on He Young. Hearing this, Jin Wu immediately dodged and argued that he was only showing concern as a friend. When Mi Suk touched his cheek in exasperation, Jin Wu accidentally saw the future image of Mi Suk who was about to be proposed by a man in a very romantic way. Jin Wu then told Mi Suk the happy thing, but she didn't believe it at all and instead laughed at him for hallucinating. In the evening, Jin Wu follows He Young who is about to go home by bus. They then sat next to each other and had a pleasant conversation. Not long after, He Young who couldn't hold back her sleep then fell asleep and leaned against Jin Wu. Jin Wu then took the opportunity to look back at He Young's future picture. He then touches He Young's hand and notices that her future has not changed. Even this time, he could see clearly and realized that someone was near He Young. Jin Wu then told Young Dal about it, who then told him to follow He Young after work and make sure she got home safely. The next day, Jin Wu sneaks into his boss's room, looking for information on He Young's home address. On the other hand, He Young turns out to be home early because she wants to date her boyfriend. That night, Jin Wu, who was already in the area where He Young lived, then immediately went into hiding when he saw He Young and her boyfriend who had just arrived there. 
However, Jin Wu's whereabouts were discovered by He Young and her boyfriend. Having been caught, Jin Wu then appeared in front of them and got acquainted with Yoon So. After Yoon So leaves, He Young and Jin Wu sit on the stairs, where He Young then reveals to him that she wants to get married soon. She apparently has hope that she can get married soon and live a happy life. She also dreams that she and her husband can go on a date to Namsan Tower. However, because Yoon So is too busy with his work, He Young feels pessimistic about all her wishes. Jin Wu sympathizes with her, then tells her that she deserves all the best in her life. After making sure He Young returned home safely, Jin Wu then left from there. But then, Jin Wu spots a man whose movements are very suspicious for observing He Young's house from a distance. Jin Wu then chased the man and managed to touch him. How surprised he was to find out the man's future picture, where he would attack a woman from behind. The man then punched Jin Wu in the stomach and left immediately. The next day, Jin Wu, who knows that He Young is meeting an unknown man, then rushes to find her whereabouts. Elsewhere, He Young is seen meeting a man who asks her out on a date, to which he rejects the man and insists on stopping bothering her. However, when she received a call from someone, the man then covered her mouth from behind. At the same time, Jin Wu finally arrived there and immediately hit the man. Jin Wu knows right away that it's the same man who had been spying on He Young around the house last night. The man turns out to be a stalker who is obsessed with He Young. After successfully knocking Jin Wu down with a fatal blow, the man then took out a knife and prepared to stab Jin Wu. But then, the police immediately arrived because Jin Wu had previously called about the assault. Seeing the arrival of the police, the man rushed to escape. He Young, who looks shocked and scared after what happened to her, then hugs Jin Wu and apologizes for causing him to get hurt. Because the wound was quite severe, Jin Wu had to undergo treatment at the hospital. Not long after that, Yoon So came to see Jin Wu to visit him and thank him for saving He Young. Long story short, Jin Wu, who has recovered and returned to work, seems to be preparing for an event held by the cosmetic shop where he works. However, when the event was about to start, an actress who was a guest star on the show was unknown. Her male manager revealed that they had a fight before the actress finally left somewhere. Jin Wu then purposely touches the man to find out what really happened and finally manages to find the whereabouts of the actress. They were finally able to carry out the event to completion without experiencing any problems. After the event, the actress then thanked Jin Wu for helping her. Noticing the look on He Young's face wondering what had happened, Jin Wu said nothing happened between him and the actress. He Young, who heard Jin Wu's words, even laughed at him and said that Jin Wu didn't need to explain anything to her because he was not her boyfriend. After that, Jin Wu decides to stop working at the cosmetic shop because he thinks he's done his duty to protect He Young. On the other hand, He Young looks sad and disappointed when she finds out that Jin Wu has decided to quit his job. She tries to find Jin Wu's whereabouts but can't find him. One day, when He Young was working, she accidentally met the actress who had been a guest star at their event some time ago. The actress turns out to recognize her and says that Jin Wu seems to really like her. Hearing this, He Young looks shocked and confused about her own feelings. She then calls Yoon So and asks him out on a date. But Yoon So refuses, citing busy work. Since her boyfriend is too busy to date her, He Young goes to Namsan Tower alone. Unexpectedly, she even met Jin Wu who also came there alone. He Young looks stunned to see Jin Wu because his appearance is a little different and looks cooler. Since they both came alone, He Young and Jin Wu decide to go on a date by visiting many places and doing fun things. While sitting alone on a park bench, Jin Wu suddenly kissed He Young. They both became awkward with each other. That evening, when he was about to take He Young home, Jin Wu wanted to reassess her future after all that had happened. However, when he touched He Young's face, he saw a picture of He Young's future that had not changed at all from before. Jin Wu thinks that He Young's future has changed after the stalker's assault incident. But it turns out that his guess is wrong, and He Young is still in danger. From then on, he decided to follow He Young wherever she went. One night, after Yoon So drove He Young home, Jin Wu saw Yoon So meet the man who once attacked He Young and gave the man an envelope. Jin Wu, suspicious of Yoon So, followed the stalker to look for information until finally, the man died after being a hit and run victim. Feeling that something was wrong, Jin Wu followed Yoon So, discovering that he had an affair with another woman. A few days later, Jin Wu visits the cosmetic shop where He Young works and finds He Young making out with Yoon So. Seeing the arrival of Jin Wu, Yoon So then cornered him by saying that recently Jin Wu was always following him. He Young then asks Jin Wu not to bother Yoon So anymore and interfere in their business. 
When Yunso was about to leave, Jin Wu then purposely angered him, thus punching him in the face. But in doing so, Jin Wu came to know the future picture of Yunso, who turned out to be making out with his mistress. After that, Jin Wu secretly sneaks into his former boss's room to look for information files about He Young, and then takes a picture. However, his actions were discovered by his former boss and He Young, where He Young immediately felt angry and disappointed at Jin Wu. Jin Wu then tries to explain that he did all that because he wanted to protect He Young from the terrible future that would befall her. However, everyone did not believe his words and thought he was too far fetched. Shortly afterward, Mi Suk, who was at work, was suddenly approached by a man who immediately proposed to her while doing romantic things. Mi Suk immediately realized that Jin Wu's words were not made up because he had predicted this to her. Mi Suk immediately meets Jin Wu at Young Doll's cafe and says that now she is sure that Jin Wu does have the ability to see the future for sure. She then tells Jin Wu that Yoon So intends to propose to He Young near Namsan Tower tonight. Hearing Mi Suk's words, Jin Wu was even more convinced that He Young was in danger because in the picture of the future, he saw a ring near He Young. Elsewhere, He Young is seen having dinner with Yoon So at a fancy restaurant. He Young thinks that she will be proposed by Yoon So. But actually Yoon So had planned to get her drunk, take her to the top of the stairs to see Namsan Tower, and then push her away, so that her death would be considered an accident. After dinner, Yoon So then takes a slightly drunk He Young to the top of the stairs to see Namsan Tower as planned. Once there, Yoon So takes out a ring and immediately asks He Young to marry him. However, He Young, who is still unsure of her feelings, then rejects Yoon So's proposal because she needs time to convince her feelings of love for him. Meanwhile, Jin Wu who was looking for He Young's whereabouts, finally found a pair of couple who were at the top of the stairs near Namsan Tower. Jin Wu, who remembered He Young's words about wanting to propose when she saw Namsan Tower, immediately got out of the taxi and ran towards it. On the other hand, Yoon So who heard He Young's refusal, immediately became angry and insulted her. Yoon So then reveals that he has never loved He Young and only wants to use her for personal gain. He Young seems to be shaking with fear because Yoon So's attitude has changed drastically like a crazy psychopath. When Yoon So was about to attack He Young, Jin Wu immediately came to save her. However, the two then fell from the top of the stairs, which left Jin Wu badly injured and covered in blood. Jin Wu looks relieved that he managed to save He Young and ends up unconscious in He Young's lap. Long story short, Jin Wu had to undergo intensive treatment at the hospital because his injuries were quite severe. When He Young visits him at the hospital, she informs him that Yoon So has been arrested by the police for attempted murder. Yoon So turns out to be only after He Young's life insurance money, where he will win 1 billion if He Young dies. He Young looks relieved that she survived the terrible plan Yoon So was about to carry out against her and is so grateful to Jin Wu for saving her. Jin Wu says that He Young is too innocent and kind to be easily taken advantage of by people with bad intentions towards her. The film ends by showing Jin Wu and He Young kissing and finally officially becoming a couple. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, if we are gifted with extraordinary talents or powers, then use those talents or strengths to protect and save those who need our help.